In this video, I want to give a basic overview as far as the IntelliJ interface is concerned for writing Java. A couple of things to point out before we even begin. We will go over how to make a new project, but I want to talk a little bit about the interface that you will see whenever you first install IntelliJ. IntelliJ has actually updated its UI, and by default, it is going to turn on the brand new UI for you whenever you start working. Now, your main menu bar is actually located up in the left side here under these lines here. You can actually click on that and notice now how the interface changes to show all of the main menu options. If I'm to click away, you can see how it collapses itself and goes back to showing the project and version control drop-down menus. So I'm going to jump back into the main menu here. So you have your file, and we'll get to this, but we can make a new project. However, a couple of things I wanted to point out here is under the view drop-down, Depending on your eyes, sometimes even with glasses, you may want it to be a little bit bigger, especially now that screens have gotten much larger resolutions. Under view, you can actually find down here, you can increase the font size in your editor. This is something I do by default, despite the fact that I wear glasses and I have a very large monitor here. So I always like to track that down in, an inner, in a UI whenever I'm first starting out with a new software package. Now, we will talk about these other drop-down menus in later videos. The other thing I wanted to show you here, though, is on the other side of the monitor here. Notice here you actually have a little cog that says IDE and Project Settings. More specifically, I wanted to point out the Settings option for you. Under here, you have a lot of different options, so you can actually you know, work through this, what works best with your, uh, what you like to work with. But more specifically, under appearance, if you need to, especially with how clean and small the new UI is, you may want to actually come under the appearance and under zoom, you can change and increase the size. As you can see, I did a 150% here. That might help it may make it a little bit easier to see here. So I'm actually going to take this down to 125. It's been pretty good for me here. Now, also too, you can actually change as far as your theme is concerned. So it is completely up to you as far as your changes and options are concerned. Some other things just to point out in case this is something you wanna change. You can change as far as file coloring systems if those colors are too hard for you to see. You can even go through and change your key maps if you're used to a different IDE that may have different key mappings. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going to make a brand new project. And just so you know, you have your project drop-down window, which is actually associated on the left side here with this little folder. So I can actually click to close if I don't need to see the rest of the project and just work on my code in my class here. But I'm going to go ahead, click on the drop-down here to make a file new project. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what you're seeing here. Yes, IntelliJ's primary focus is Java. However, as you can see, you do have options as far as the generators are concerned that you could make different project options. Now, for the name here, I'm gonna go ahead and choose and just call it like video demo here. Now let's talk about location a little bit. The location is going to be where you save the project. Now, by default, if you're working on your personal machine, it's going to generate a specific folder called Idea Projects, and all of your project folders will be stored in there. Likewise as well, notice that if you are working with Git, you can just generate the repository when you make the folder. I'm gonna skip this for right now. I'm not concerned about uh, Git interaction here. You can add this on later if you choose. And I'm going to leave it on the defaults here for getting started. So I'm just going to leave it on Java and we're going to use the build system from IntelliJ. But now you need to determine which JDK you'd like to use to make your project and compile your project. This is where you can kind of start to finesse the projects depending on what you are working with. If we click on the drop down here, you can see that by default it wants to use Amazon Coretto version 11. Also down here, you can see that it detects certain JDK SDKs here. 
if there isn't something there that you want to use, you can actually come under Add SDK and choose to download a specific option. You will actually get a pop-up here where you can choose your specific vendors. So if you're doing something for your job that they have a specific JDK they're using, and it'll pull in the version as well. And then you can just tell it to download and you can see here, it'll go into users into a JDKS folder and download that for you. For this demo though, I'm gonna cancel out of this because I actually wanna use the Coretto version here. From an introductory standpoint, don't worry about the advanced settings. Uh, the defaults are actually fine as far as your project is concerned. So let's go ahead, we'll click create. And this is popping up here. Yours, if you are making your very first project in IntelliJ, it should just open for you. But because I had some previous projects going on here, it's asking me where do I wanna open this? I'm actually gonna tell it new window. So here you can see now, I actually have a brand new window that has all of my project built out and also a nice default file, uh, main.java, that has some introductory stuff as far as a structure for a Java file is concerned. Now, one final note here is if you do wanna go and actually see where the project is stored or you need to access it in your Explorer, now, the last thing that I just want to point out to everybody is what if you need to zip up, save, or you want to work with your project outside of the IntelliJ interface? IntelliJ makes it very easy that you can come up under video demo and just right click here. So I'm clicking on that project folder and there's an open in option that you can actually tell it to open up your Explorer. And there you can see, I have another project in there, CIT 111, but there is my main project folder that now, for instance, if I need to submit it, I could zip up this folder and submit the project. So those are just some quick tips and tricks as far as getting started with IntelliJ and working in the interface and getting a little bit of familiarity with it.